all right guys for this tutorial i'm going to be using four yards of black net fabric i'm going to be using two yards of satin fabric one yard of hardness and one yard of lace trimmings so as you can see i have actually cut out my body's part that is the front and the back panel and uh, if you want to know how to make this please click on the link uh um, showing right now uh, you will see a video that i created for how to make the pattern for a baby bodies so we're just so going to in go that ahead video ahead i also showed how to cut um, out your sleeve pattern part. as well because i am going to be including cap sleeves to this um dress as well so i went ahead to sew the edges of my sleeves and then i am just going to join the bodies part of the dress together as you can see i cut out two separate um pieces that is one for the lining and one for the main part of the um, bodies and I'm actually using the same fabric to line and also to uh, do the main part but you can use a different fabric if you want for the lining um, I just decided to use um, the same fabric due to last minute changes so what I am going to do now is to join the shoulder part of this um, bodice that is placing right sides facing each other. And I'm going to do that for the lining and the main bodice as well. So as you can see, I have done that now. I have joined the two parts together. I also sewed my darts as you can see and I showed how to create this dart in the pattern I made as well. So now I am just simply going to join the lining fabric to the main fabric and to do this I am going to place right sides facing each other and then we are going to sew on the wrong side. So we are going to sew all along the neckline that is to join the lining and the main fabric together and we are going to be joining that by sewing along the neckline. So as you can see, I have sewn along my neckline and this is what you should have um, when you're done. And I notched properly with my scissors, avoiding the seam because we do not want to cut through the seam. So now to make that neckline, to make that neckline smooth and to make the finish uh, very nice, we're going to just create a top stitch very close to the main stitch that we made on that neckline, making sure that the seam is actually placed on the lining and not on the main fabric. So now I'm done joining that. The next thing I'm going to do is to connect my sleeve to my armhole. So to do this, I'm simply going to place the sleeve inside in between my main fabric and my lining fabric. And I'm then going to cover that up. That is, I'm going to place it on the right side of the main fabric and the lining fabric. And then I'm going to cover it up just as you can see that I am doing here. Making sure that the midpoint of that sleeve is on the midpoint of that my shoulder line. And then I'm going to use a pin to secure it properly. I'm also going to use a pin to pin down all through the length of the armhole because of course the sleeve is going to be around the armhole. So I'm going to pin down properly because uh, I don't want to take any chances and I want to have a clean finish when I am done. As you can see now, I am done sewing the arm the armhole and joining the sleeve to the armhole. I also notched properly. Please always notch. So I notched properly so that when I turn it over, I will have a smooth, clean finish. Unfortunately, my fabric was fraying, but when you turn it over, you won't really notice all this. And I also trimmed this uh, later in the video. So the next thing is to actually sew the sides of the bodies and that's sew the sides of the lining and the sides of the main fabric um, together. So after sewing it together, as you can see, I went ahead to also notch properly, making sure to avoid the seam. This is so that when you turn it over, you can have a very smooth finish. So after cutting all the whole seam, uh, the 
that after notching all the seams, I turned it over to reveal a very lovely, clean, finished um, bodice. You can actually join the two sides, the other two sides of these bodies together before turning it over. But I wanted to have like an, I wanted to join it, uh, the two sides on the outside because just in case I needed to adjust the allowance later. So um, here I was just looking at uh, how I was going to place my lace trimmings. So um, to place these lace trimmings, I'll be using thread and needle to just sew along the waist and also on the sides of this. But before that, we're just going to go ahead and join the net to this body. As you can see, I trimmed my bodice properly and I actually made a top stitch on that waist of this um, bodice just to hold everything in place. So now I'm going to measure my waist directly from the bodice. That is just to avoid any mistake at all. So as you can see, after measuring my waist, uh, I got 25 inches. Of course, that 25 inches also includes our zipper allowance. So for my two, I went ahead to gather my two. The length of these two was 70 inches, while the width was about 18 inches. So to gather the two, I simply sewed the edge of my two, which I gathered in twos. So I sewed the edge um, on five stitch of my machine, which is like the most loose stitch. And then I pulled one of the threads. Uh, and as you're pulling one of the threads, you are creating gathers just like this. I ended up having four different tools which I had gathered and then I joined everything together. I sewed everything together and now I'm just going to sew that gather tool to my bodice. We are going to be creating a half circle inner lining for the skirt part of this dress and to do that just divide your waist measurement by 3.14. I got 7.9 so as you can see I marked 7.9 all through and created like a half circle with that 7.9 so then the next thing i'm going to do is to measure the full length of this skirt and for my full length i used about 20 inches so on that um, first initial line that you made for the um, waist circumference you're going to place your tape on that line and then measure the full length of the skirt for mine it was 20 inches so i just measured 20 inches all through this skirt. So after marking that 20 inches all through the skirt, I went ahead to cut with my scissors. So as you can see, I cut out another exact semicircle like the first one, just that it was shorter. That is for the inner lining and the outer lining. So we're going to have two linings, but the shorter one is the inner lining. So on the inner lining, I decided to add my hard net. And so to do that, I just simply marked out that inner lining and divided it by three. And then on those lines that I created, I joined my hard net on those lines
so now the next thing is to join the inner lining to the outer lining so we're just going to sew the edge of the that's the waist part of the outer lining to the waist part of the inner lining and then also make sure to finish the edge of your um, lining properly So as you can see, I have actually finished the edge of the outer lining as well as inner lining and I've also joined it to the waist of the inner lining. So we're going to go ahead and join this to the skirt of this dress. So to do that, we're going to simply place the um, lining on the net part of this skirt. And to place this, we're going to make sure that the longer part, which is the um, outer lining is touching the net so that is how we are going to sew it so that when you turn it over you have a clean smooth finish and the longer part will actually be showing outside so guys I have joined the lining to the net as you can see this is what we have now um, the dress is actually almost finished so we are just going to go ahead and also add the trimmings now the lace trimmings on the waist and on the side of the bodies and then I'm going to add my zipper to the back of the dress as well then after adding my zipper I'm going to join or before adding my zipper I'm actually going to join the skirt part of this dress together to create a clean finish so to do that i'm going to join the lining first before i then join the net part of this dress by joining the, the lining first you actually create a cleaner finish than when you join everything together so join the lining first and join the net separately so now i have finished i've also put my lace trimmings I use thread and needle to fix this as you can see the dress is looking really lovely and I am really proud of this um, um, the outfit so guys um, this is how to make a baby ball dress I hope you found this video helpful please do like share and if you're new here please do subscribe thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video